Okay. So, so you take the A out from these two, and in order to make B and X, you have to put it here. When you're graphing the two times X minus one square plus three, how, does the two make it longer, or does it make it like... Yeah, it makes it thinner. Yeah, so then when... So these are the exact same equations. Yeah, they're literally the exact same. <laughs> Richie, what did you get? I got y equals 2 times x plus 2 squared minus 1. X plus 2 squared? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you get? Uh, because... Oh, that's really frank. Uh, because you here, you know, that's the A, so then the A goes outside. Now, I personally didn't This was the graph I did. Parkour's math is different because you're really working together with your classmates to figure out the answers by yourselves. You understand it better because you actually find how to get the answers to the problems you're doing by yourselves or with your classmates. Before it, so you need to pull it out. A, A doesn't have to be one. Yeah. If I'm confused, the someone I work at the table with can help explain it to me and that like solidifies both of our understandings of the problem. The class um, atmosphere is very nice and we learn a lot. So one, two, yes. It's, it's negative five, guys. Ha! I was right. <laughs> yes, yes you were. I came from a school which had only 35 kids in a class and so I was kind of worried that with going to a school with 120 kids that like the classes would be bigger and you wouldn't get as much attention from teachers but there is two teachers walking around um, and then there's also four TAs not all of them at once what is oh, our B? Okay. In this okay. case, but like, uh, some TAs will come one day, some TAs will come another day. No, you get to this point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's there's no radical. Because oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh. But there's I is there an I? I squared is negative one. So it's just so it's just plus, right? minus fifteen. In the past, math hasn't necessarily been my strong suit. So this year, when going into high school, I decided Parker sounded kind of like the way that I like to learn, so I would try it out. Explain to me what you do from here to here. Oh, so... No, it's 2 yeah. plus, plus 5, five radical 5, five 2 five minus. Figuring out problems by yourself and getting really excited when you finally do, it's like a really, it's a very gratifying feeling. Grace, what did you get for the roots? It's for which one? For B. B, uh, two plus. In class, I'm doing the honors problems and being able to figure those out and feel really good about it and then still do well on the standard tests and feel like I'm in a place where I don't have to be kind of locked in by that certain label of standard or honors because then it kind of gives me the option of maybe progressing next year. So that's one of my favorite things about this class. Plus it's 9 minus 15. Because the 2 yeah. in the middle right. just gets up. Plus 1, yeah. So you have 1, which is 2 plus. If you add 2 plus radical 5 and 2 minus radical 5 together. Oh, 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 oh then the radicals cancel out. There are three other people at our table, and so when Grace and I can't figure something out, then we ask the other pair at our table, and then and we can all really help each other out, and it's really exciting because, like, we can, it's, it's, it makes math fun fun, which has never really happened before. <laughs> You're also never forced into any pairing. You choose who you can work with and who you work best with. And so for me, that has been Veronica and some other great people who, and it does, like Lily said, math is so much fun. We love Parkers!